So it's wonderful uh, to be here today to welcome Jeremy uh, into my constituency of West Derby and to the fan support and food banks, Millennium Centre, mobile market style food pantry, which we run every Friday. And this is a direct correlation with what we're currently running regarding the Vita Food campaign. And that's something which we believe is required for this country, systemic change to tackle the evils of the 10 million people who at this moment are currently unable to put a meal on the table. And only yesterday we hear from CPAG, we were talking about 4.5 million children living in poverty. I mean, oh, there's millions and millions of people unable to put a meal on the table. And we've been doing this now for six years in Liverpool with fans support and food banks. And this is a, an evolution of it. It's something we're extremely proud of. It destigmatizes anybody uh, that needs some assistance from the community. And for £3.50, they get £15 worth of food. So that element of it on a ground level is really important. But the hugely important part of the Right to Food campaign is Parliament. Uh, and it's getting the right to food potentially in a white paper, which is what we hope to do through the National Food Strategy. So Jeremy's help today in raising the message, showing the work that we're doing and promoting it and putting it out and encouraging people to sign a petition, uh, which declares that they believe that a right to food is needed, as I said, to change society for the better, for the many and not the few. Sign the petition for the right to food campaign. Get your name on it, get all your mates' names on it, get all your neighbours' names on it, get everybody on it, because that way we'll show just how many of us there are that want to support the right to food.